Okay, so <laughs> I <clears throat> haven't made a video in like, I want to say three years. In that time, maybe two years, I don't know, I'll have to go back and look. But in that time, I have been collecting my empty products. <sighs> okay, so, okay, so you get the picture. This is literally, I think, three years. And so I feel like, like I'm going to warn you that this is probably going to take a little while. I don't know if anybody's even going to want to watch this. I feel obligated to make this video because this bag of products has been, empty products has been sitting in my bathroom closet for three years. So I can't just, I can't not make this video. I feel like this is going to be really boring. <laughs> so this, this might be a really good, personally, I like to put on videos sometimes like while I'm getting ready, at, like things that aren't like super, super interesting. Cat fur. Oh my god, cat fur all over my shirt. Um, I have four black cats. FYI. Uh, okay, need to get into the video, otherwise this is going to be like eight hours long. I'm curious to see how long this actually takes. Um, so, okay, let's just, let's dive right in. Um, gross. <laughs> um, I've been trying these, this brand. Love, Beauty, and Planet. Um, I have really loved everything I've tried so far and I'm continuing to repurchase. There's all different kinds. I just, I don't feel like I can go into the level of detail that I like normally might. I normally might, yeah. Not that I did that many of these videos, but. Um, okay, so this is hair extension shampoo. I actually have two little hair extensions in. Never tried hair extensions before. My hair is super thin and fine. The last time I went and I had it cut and highlighted, she recommended that I just try two on either side just to add a little bit. And um, she recommended that I use this shampoo. It was fine. Like, I don't think I would repurchase it because I think it was like $20 or something like that. And I don't plan on keeping the hair extensions. Um, this is my, this is like totally go to, uh, I don't have time for to wait for the camera to focus. <laughs> um, the Burt's Bees, um, deep cleansing cream. This is great for, um, I feel like I have sensitive acne prone skin and a cream cleanser. I feel like does wonders for sensitive acne prone, at least my sensitive acne prone skin and my sister's. I discovered this, um, that that uh, a cleansing cream, so like not, not anything, like not a foam-based cleanser. Um, and I told my sister, and she started using cream cleansers and um, it helped her skin as well. Uh, this is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah, it's alright. I like it. It's alright. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, I have a ton of these. This is like my go-to. I feel like there's going to be more in this bag. Um, it's the St. Ives Skin Renewing. Any of, like pretty much anything I think from, I want to say from their line. I don't know if I've necessarily tried all of the different kinds, but I feel like I'm very particular about my, my hand cream. Like it can't feel, some hand creams feel dry. Like they almost feel drying after you put them on. Like, and I just keep wanting to put more and more on. It's like, I hate that feeling. Um, it's almost like you put like chalk on your hands, like a chalky residue afterwards. I don't know if you feel me on that, but there's been a couple brands that I've tried that had that. And so I feel like once I find one that works, I stick to it. I see a hair again. Um, the St. Ives. St. Ives. I love the... Yep, look at that. There's another one. You know, this really makes me... Like the amount of products I'm going through here. One, the plastic. <sighs> I try, I recycle, I feel like I could do more, always feel like I could do more. Um, could make my own hand lotion, but then I'd have to buy things, that, other things that come in place. Anyway, okay, moving on. Um, dry shampoo, I go through phases where I use dry shampoo and um, I don't need to go into that detail. <laughs> I could make this barely made a dent in this bag. Okay, focus, Lauren. Um, this is the Dove Hair Therapy F Refreshing Care Volume Dry Shampoo. I, um, I liked this, but it was like too, the scent was like just too intense. So I feel like there's probably going to be one in here that's not scented. 
Oh my god, I was so in love with this. I I got this, Steve gave me a gift card for Christmas and I was like, what would I never buy myself? Expensive skincare. I bought myself Amaritzia. I don't know if that's how you say it, in, in like a but they're little like travel size. Um, oh my god, I am sitting on my toes. This is not gonna last. <gasps> okay, um, I'm gonna have to tilt the camera down a little bit. Do, do, do. Does that work? Okay, that works. I have no bra on, so need to stay at that level. Okay, um, don't know why I need to share that. I just like to share all sorts of things, don't I? Um, this was their rejuvenating night cream. Oh gosh. Oh, it smells so good. It just, the packaging, everything, it just was lovely. It was just like, what a lovely experience. Just, I shouldn't have, I feel like now everything else pales in comparison to that that skincare and like everything else feels like cheap and doesn't and smells like chemic like that smelled pure like water from glaciers in Alaska Pr probably that's probably ingredient in one of them um, Pacifica kale detox deep cleansing face wash I started trying more Pacif Pacifica because I know they're cruelty free and vegan I think I don't know if everything from them is but um, I really didn't like this because it's a foaming cleanser and I prefer cream cleansers, but I couldn't find my cream cleanser from them. Burt's Bees, we're going to see a lot of this, a lot of these. This is the Burt's Bees Pomegranate Moisturizing Lip Balm. This is my fave, my fave. Um, I love, I'm very picky, just like I'm picky about my hand lotion, I am picky about my chapsticks. Um, and how they feel. They can't be too like slippery, but they can't be too waxy. Um, this is perfect. Also adds a nice little, like a little tiny, tiny pink tint. Um, the or this is like a little sample that I used, refreshing eye cream from Origins. Their ginseng. I liked this. I don't know. I'm not a huge eye cream person, but I liked it. Um, my mom is a Mary Kay consultant, and um, she gave me this. It was a botanical botanical effects freshen. It was nice. It was refreshing. It did the job. Um, this is the Pacifica Dream Big Natural Minerals. Um, it was like this like twist for volume and twist for length. I don't care about like to me that kind of stuff is like feels a little gimmicky. That's that's just me. I don't wear enough makeup to really have too much of a strong opinion about anything. But this it broke like yeah I was kind of disappointed about that. So then I had to buy another one because the thing broke. Um, Jergens Ultra Healing. This was just a little mini one that I like. I like having at my desk. Um, I like this. I feel like, yeah, I like Jergens as well. In addition to the St. Ives, I like the the feeling. Um, Jason, I think that's how you say it, Smoothing Coconut Body Wash. Wasn't a fan. I didn't really, yeah, I don't think I liked it that much. I didn't like the scent. It, it just, it wasn't like amazing. Um, yes to Coconut um, Hydrate and Restore Protecting Hand and Cuticle Cream. I don't need to read the whole thing. Don't need to read the whole thing. It's just hand cream from Yes2, the Yes2 brand. I don't think I liked the texture of that, like the, the feel of it. It was a little too, um, it was like drying. It was like greasy. It was greasy and drying. Um, the Tree Hut Chase Sugar Scrub Almond and Honey. I liked this as like the functional cat hair. Um, the functional aspect of it, like it did a good job, like softening my skin and exfoliating. I did not like the smell. It was like you know, the almond or something, almond extract. It was like, I don't know, it was too potent. Here we go again with the birds. Oh no, no, that was a different one. The other one was the soap bark. This is the intense hydration cream cleanser with clary sage from Burt's Bees. I, I just like all of Burt's Bees cream cleansers pretty much. Um, this is from um, Life Spa Organics Lymphatic Massage Oil. I got this as part of doing a like a cleanse that I didn't end up doing. <laughs> Couldn't make it through the cleanse, but I did like that massage oil, and I purchased a really big bottle of like another one of their massage oils because I couldn't remember which one I had gotten. I probably would have just gotten regotten regotten that one. Not even a word. Burt's Bees Sensitive Daily Moisturizing Cream with Cotton Extract. I'm pretty sure I liked this. I almost can't remember. As I get to the bottom of the bag, I'm probably not going to be able to remember. 
Burt's Bees Renewal Firming Night Cream. I liked that. I would repurchase it. I love the, I really like the look of that. I mean, is it focusing? I, I don't know. I got a new camera too, by the way. Did I say that yet? I don't remember. Um, I really liked it. It was, felt rich, creamy, hydrating. <sighs> Suave, essentials, aloe and water lily. I feel like Steve gave me this because I would not purchase, I, like I don't typically purchase like really cheap shampoos and conditioners. Um, just because I feel like the ingredients are like usually iffy when it's really cheap. Oh, uh, this, I was so excited about this. P Piper Way. Um, activated charcoal deodorant. It just, it, I used it up, I think, but it's like, look, there's still a good bit left. Oh, Steve's here. Crap, I got so much more to go. Okay, Argon Oil Hair Mask. I liked this. I loved the smell of it. From Art Naturals. I think I got that on Amazon. Um, Garnier Skin Active Micellar. Micellar? I think I say it's a cleansing water all in one removes makeup. Yeah, works. Good, it's like good enough, does the job. Um, I don't really have much to compare to. I don't wear makeup that often, so I'm not taking, like I'm not, you know, it's like good enough. I wish it removed mascara, like bad. I never have found anything that removes mascara fast. Although I think I am using waterproof mascara right now. Um, Arc, the, again, Art Naturals Argon Oil Shampoo, hair growth treatment. I have fine thin hair, like I said and I was trying this out to see if it would help. Of course, not. Why would it? I just, I'm so, I, it's like, you still try, you know? You still wanna try to see if you can find something that would actually like make your hair full. Um, this I had for the longest time. I feel like I had this for five years. Focus 21 Splash Finishing Spray. I don't know, it worked. I think it smelled pretty good too. Um, ooh, this was fun. I loved this. I would totally get this again. Bobbi Brown. Um, beach. I wanted this after I heard someone mention this in a, in a beauty video like years and years ago and I finally like one day I was like I'm gonna get that and I loved it. I love smelling like suntan lotion. I don't know why I need to get perfume. I should just get suntan lotion. No that won't work. Um, this is the Art Naturals again. I think this is just the conditioner. The other one was the shampoo. Um, yes to coconut again with the hand cuticle cream. I guess I did like this. No, I feel like it was greasy. I don't know, I can't remember. I love, I do like the S2 brand. The toothpaste, this is my go-to toothpaste. It's Tom's from Maine. They're peppermint, anti-plaque and whitening. Um, I just, it's all I buy. I don't, I don't stray within the toothpaste. Um, again, with a suave, I feel like this was potentially from Steve or maybe I was trying to save money. <laughs> um, the tropical coconut infused with coconut shampoo. I don't know why I keep reading all of it. The St. Ives, my go-to. This one was different. I did the daily hydrating versus the skin renewing. Still was on point. I feel like, like I said, I could get any of them and they would they would work. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Brightening Daily Facial Cleanser. Uh, love this. Again, it's a cream cleanser. Um, intense Hydration Cream Cleanser. That's like the second one I think that I had. More toothpaste, more toothpaste. Um, Dove Advanced Care, this is just my go-to, this is what I get. I really, I don't try many uh, deodorants, so I can't really have much of an opinion, to be honest. Uh, Burt's Bees Brightening Skin Perfecting Serum. I like it. I don't know if it really did anything. I like, you know, taking care of my skin, so, you know, I like the Burt's Bees brand. Um, Biotherm Life Plankton Essence. This was like a little... I want to say this was like a little treatment, like a skin treatment type thing. I think I really liked the smell of this. This I was a while ago, so I can't quite remember. Um, Derm Organic Intensive Hair Repair Mask. I actually really love, and here's the Derm Organic Daily Hydrating Conditioner. I feel like I was looking for shampoo and conditioner that was like um, cruelty free and didn't have any like had good ingredients and I came across this and then they must have changed the formula because then it like it didn't smell very good and I just didn't like it as much so I stopped buying it. I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, again with this the Art Naturals. There's a shampoo. I think I repurchased that a couple times. 
another deodorant, uh, Amara, Amara Organics Balancing Toner. I think I was looking, like, um, this was to f try to find, like, an organic, cruelty-free, like, line of skincare. I feel like I was having trouble for some reason finding something that I really liked. I don't remember specifically, but I got, like, a whole bunch, and I, I don't know, I didn't really end up, like, it was okay. I feel like I ended up, like, breaking out or something. I can't quite remember, though. Um, this is the Coach, I think, Poppy Perfume. I loved this for like a really long time. I think it's, it's kind of sweet. I don't know if I would get it again, but the bottle's like super cute. Um, oh, this was, I think, another like thing, like a high-end skincare that I decided to try. I realized like a good way to try high-end skincare is to um, buy like their travel size. Um like little kits that they have so that way you don't have to like you can try multiple products so you're not getting as much but it's not like super expensive and you get to try it out this was the pericone md um face finishing moisturizer of course i feel like it was amazing um, the Bur burt's bees refining tonic um i used bought repurchased this multiple times it's um yeah, it's very like mild. I feel like it might probably is good for sensitive skin. It's supposed to help even skin tone. I can't necessarily necessarily say if it does or not, but um, I like the smell of it. I like just overall good price point. I like the Burst Bees brand. Oh, my favorite. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like high quality. That's what it smells like. And it feels, the packaging just feels. Illuminating moisturizer. This is Amaritia. Um, it was amazing. The amazing texture, amazing scent, amazing packaging. Loved all of it. Burt's Bees Complete Nourishment Facial Oil. I feel like I really liked this with rose hip seed extract. I feel this is this is starting to get to be like a long time ago that I used some of these things, so it's gonna be hard to remember. Des Desert Essence 100% Pure Jojoba Oil. Jojoba Oil. What could you say about jojoba oil? It was fine. <laughs> Again with the uh, St. Ives, um, again with the uh, the Dove, uh, two scented though, so I, I don't know if I have any in here, but I started to get the unscented. I'm almost done. <laughs> no, I'm not almost done. I'm like halfway through, but I'm like, I'm starting to move faster. Alright. So. I think it's time. I'll have a beer. Alright. Um, again with the St. Ives. Yeah, oh, thanks. I actually did it. You're pretty cute. Do yeah, thanks. thanks. Okay, you can tell me at dinner. <laughs> um, not editing this. Okay. Uh, Argon oil hair mask from the Art Naturals. Again, I feel like I, I liked this, but it was like one of those things I bought it off Amazon, I think. Um, I liked it, but it was like, I don't know. I like trying new things with hair, like stuff. So I don't tend to stick to one. Um, again, with a, a deep, deep cleansing cream I, this one's nice because it adds it's like a little bit of tingle um this is the hollywood um oh sorry glam glow thirsty mud hydrating treatment like mask i was I started to use this as like moisturizer at night because i think the direction says like that you don't actually have to like wipe off excess so i was like well i'm just gonna start using it as a moisturizer because i ran out of like a nighttime moisturizer um a simple eye makeup remover i i think this was good I don't know, I don't remember, like, if it was better than the, um, the Garnier one. Um, this is organic sesame oil. I, this is, like, great, perfect for sesame oil. <laughs> Not much you can say about sesame oil. Uh, I would use this for hair, for skin, um, but probably more so for, like, doing the whole oil pooling thing. Swish oil in your mouth. Um, Ren, F10 Smooth and New Peel Face Mask. Oh, I think I could, I think this, I think this went bad. I don't know. I don't, it doesn't, it smells like, you know, kind of, you know, like something starts to go bad. Like it smells like a musty smell. I don't remember using that because I think by the time I got to it, it went bad. Simple replenishing, um, just like a moist, moisturizer was like, is I. <laughs> Um, yes to Deep Wrinkle Night Cream. I feel like I did like this. Juice Beauty. I got like a sample pack of stuff from Juice Beauty. I don't think I liked this, honestly, because um, it's green apple SPF 15. Oh, because it had SPF in it. 
I don't like stuff with SPF in it. It gives me like this weird Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I think that was uh, that was pretty nice. Again, with the jer mini Jergens that I would use for my office. Um, Dove, they're for fine flat hair conditioner. Again, always trying to get that those thick full locks. Just I don't think it's gonna happen. I used to have thicker. Now I always had fine hair, but it definitely has gotten thinner and finer as I've gotten older. Um, Pacifica Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. I feel like this was decent. 100% vegan, cruelty free. Love the Pacifica brand. Oh my god, there's so many little things at the bottom. Uh, Desert Essence. Um, oh, oh yeah, that's right. I used to get Desert Essence uh, toothpaste. I don't know why I stopped. I feel like I liked it. I just, for some reason, bought Tom's. Some more deodorant, some more toothpaste, some more Juice Beauty oil-free moisturizer. Wasn't a huge fan. I wanted to like Juice Beauty. I feel like their ingredients were good. I think they're, I think they're vegan. Um, they have organic ingredients. Um, Kate Somerville. Ooh, this is again with the high-end skincare. Nourish daily moisturizer. Ew, this is getting gross. This is getting real gross. Getting gross in the bag. Um, loved this. Off the packaging, like. You would like push this down and it would come up um, and then you would like what yes and I loved the the um, feel of it. it was like nice and smooth not greasy bliss high intensity 24 heaven healing body balm yeah I don't think so I don't think I like that like La Roche Posay I don't think I like this because I feel like there's stuff in it. Balm. I don't even know. Some of this um, lipid replenishing balm. What was this? Oh wait, oh no, okay. Hmm, I don't know. There's something left in it. Um, here again with the, um, the Derm Organic hair care. <sighs> really used, I loved it before they changed it. Um, again, we got Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Cleanser. Wasn't a fan. I don't really feel like I need oil-free cleansers or foaming face washes. I don't feel like they serve me very well. But again, with a Pacifica Moisturizer Tuscan Blood Orange. I don't like moisturizers, body like body creams and stuff. That I tend really not to like the scent of most of them. TBH Jason Restorative Biotin Pure Natural Conditioner. I don't think I like this. I feel like it really, like sometimes conditioners, they don't feel like they like really condition your hair well. Like it just didn't, because I definitely didn't repurchase it. But again, it's been three years since I bought it, so I don't really remember. This went along with the, um, this was the shampoo, uh, the other, sh the conditioner, the Dove, you know. Yes to Age Refresh Daily Preparing Moisturizer. This is the Yes to Blueberries. I'm pretty sure I liked that. Um, Botanics Eye Makeup Remover. I think that was okay. I don't know. I ended up, I, I think I ended up hearing everybody talking about like the uh, the Garnier Micellar Water, Micellar Water, and just ended up just getting that. And then I was like, this works, and I'll just keep buying it. Um, again, with a sesame oil, a Burt's Bees Day Lotion. Pretty sure I like that. I think that's maybe the second or third one. Um, Radiance Body Lotion with Royal Jelly. Pretty sure I, oh yeah, with Natural Mica to enhance skin tone. I don't know if they sell this anymore. This is amazing, because like with the Mica, it makes your skin like shimmery, but like not, um, like looks like naturally shimmery. Ew. Oh, this is getting Desert Essence Coconut Hand and Body Lotion. I don't know, I think sometimes scents like just, I don't like the scents of things, but I like the uh, texture. Um, Alba Botanical Hawaiian Moisture Cream, the sooth Smoothing Jasmine and Vitamin E. This, I'm pretty sure this was good. Nice texture. Um, and I think cruelty free. Yeah. Oh, my beloved Amaritia, the Thermal Cleansing Balm. Oh, so nice. Oh, the smell. So the texture. I think it had like just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit of grit to it. Tiny, tiny bit of grit. And I actually liked that. Um, I just, I loved it. It was, loved it. Um, Purity. This is like a little sample. I don't remember what this was. What the heck is this? Cleanser. I think it was foaming cleanser though, so. No bueno. Oh my god, I have so many tiny things. Cleansing gel. Again, I'm, 
I think this was okay actually. I don't mind gels and creams. It's like when they foam. Um, too stripping. An Estee Lauder. Oh, I think I liked this. Advanced um, Night Repair Eye Cream. Like a little sample. Um, I think that was actually really nice. Amara Organics Vitamin C Serum. I think this made my skin like burn. I think maybe you're supposed to work up to it. This was like the whole like the Amara Amara Organics like line that I bought and like I didn't like most of it and like my face I remember the first time I couldn't tell which what was making my my face burn. Um, Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. I think this was pretty good. I think I liked this. Uh, this is the Derm Organic again with like the whole like that was the brand that I was buying for a little while. Leave-in treatment. I don't think I was like super crazy about how this smelled. Look at all these empty chipsticks. See, I told you I'm, I ain't lying. I like the Burt's Bees, the pomegranate. Um, if you take anything away from this video, it is if you haven't tried the Burt's Bees pomegranate try it. If you haven't tried C knives and you're picky about your like moisturizer for your hands, try that. I think those are like the takeaways. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna sing that every time. Oh this was Queen of Hungary Mist from Amaritia. Oh this like felt like this smell I can still smell it. It smells so good. Everything smelled so good. It just like I, I just can't tell you the, the difference between smelling like drugstore kind of low end like lower end skincare versus that brand <laughs> I don't know if like other high end skincare smells like that but whew. um this was a purity made simple this is the I already talked about that um the Roche Posay intense serum I think that was nice again with the I had like a bunch of um little samples um lash sensational I think that was fine I don't know don't remember Lancome Regenere lift serum like these are all just like serums oh this was the Pericone cold plasma what was this I think it was Pericone MD this is again like a high-end brand if you're not familiar I think it was a moisturizer maybe it was an eye cream it was nice that's all I know uh what was this oh Lotus Youth Preserve Oh, this was from Fresh. I think I liked this. I, think I liked that. Oh, I, I feel like I want to try some of their stuff again. Um, I already did this, the uh, Estee Lauder eye cream. Liked that. Clinique, uh, like a, a serum. I think that was that was cool. Um, Privage anti aging intensive repair serums. Like yeah, lots of little serum like serum samples that I. Um, this is the cleanser again. This was a foaming cleanser. I mean, it was nice, but it just, I'm not a foaming cleanser gal. Uh, Miracle Worker. I think I liked this. I liked the, um, the texture that was from, um, Miracle Worker, like, um, face cream from Philosophy. Sorry, if I'm really getting lax, but I'm trying to get, I only have just a handful of things left. Vichy, Vichy, um, serum, a serum, a little sample. It was nice. Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Hand Cream. Pretty sure I did not like this. It was too greasy, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, again, with the Juice Beauty, this was a Green Apple Age Defy Serum. Pretty sure I liked that. I usually like most serums. I don't have any. Um, this was like a shampoo sample. It was good. <laughs> uh, an Estee Lauder Perfectionist Wrinkle Lifting Firming Serum. Pretty sure that was like decent. A cap. Uh, Illamasca Hydravail. This was weird. It was like a gel, like moisturizing gel. I don't know. I, I don't know if I, I could really get into the gel, moisturizing gel. Again, with the Lancome and hair and dust. Um, another Juice Beauty Apple Peel Full Strength. I think this is like an awards, like their award winning. Okay, I'm almost done. Almost done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my feet. Oh my ankles. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Gotta lift back up. Okay. okay. We're almost there. Almost there. Codaly um, serum. I loved, the, I do have to say, I loved all of the little, like, having little samples of serums was really fun. Um, Privage Anti-Aging Intensive Repair Daily Serum. 
I can't remember any of this. Juice Beauty uh, Green Apple, um, the Green Apple Peel Blemish Clearing. I just had that in like, yeah. I like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember liking that because I think it was like, um, as, like an acid type peel. Uh, again with the pear. Okay, so yeah, the Cold Plasma I think was moisturizer. Pericone MD Firming Eye Cream. Pretty sure this was 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 epic as well. And that is it. I just have some caps and a razor. So there you go. I am curious to see how long that was. My camera shut off. How long does the camera record for? I have no idea. I want to say this was like 20 minutes. It wasn't too bad. We got through it. Um, all right, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. All right, all done. Oh, all done? oh my ankles.